campy because you're a bait and punish character playing against a bait and punish character. Mm. I mean, for me, I'm a kid in a candy store. This is like porn for me. Like it's it's a Sonic ditto. I it's, love it. Yeah. What is Nintendo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting into it, folks. Cyber members of 6WX here on Smashville. And if you didn't know Animal Crossing was a Nintendo property, there's nothing telling you on the screen this is a Nintendo game. So. Eh. Nah, it's just more animals. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're, they're trapped in the cage, Sonic just freed them and they're cheering. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic is rebelling against the government. <laughs> he doesn't want to pay his home loans. But yeah, this is, like I said, this is going to be really interesting. Um, like, the Sonic did it, like, you're two bait and punish characters trying to bait and punish them mm. each other. So, uh, you know, whoever hits. Uh, spin Nash Machine Ooh. would be in a much better Oh, game. Cyber! Yeah, that is uh, that... muy unfortunate. Was that a miss? Was that a bad input? Yeah, that, that had to be a miss input. Uh, he probably thought he had a jump still, but... Um, I know there's like certain glitches with Sonic where he gets uh, he gets stuck in Spin Nash without a jump, but I think Cyber just straight up just missed. Ooh. It's interesting that he went for that up smash, though, because there are certain aspects in a Sonic Ditto that, w that he can go for options that uh, he can't go against against other characters just because of Sonic. Like, using up smash as a legitimate edge guard is something he can do because Sonic is most likely going to approach from, like, uh, oh. the same consistent angle above him. That forward smash could have ended his... Yeah. It, it wouldn't have killed him, but it would have been... Uh, it would have been a lot of damage on him. And now Six just continuing to carry out this lead. Uh, it's so hard to keep track of uh, who's what just dashing around everywhere. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty comfy with it because like yeah. uh, six is using the, the light blue Sonic for those of you at home who are unsure. And for those of you like me who are colorblind, just kind of follow the tags. Yeah, six is using the Sonic tag. All right. Uh, yeah, this is, he's lapped him in percent right ooh. now. So down throw is gonna set him up, but you can't tech out of that. A six just did. So it, down throw is only really good for just setting up tech situations. Cyber's got to play really defensive now. Yeah. You think this is still doable? Uh, if he can get the stock off, it is. Cause Sonic's able to rack up damage pretty quickly, but you see six also kind of taking a slower approach now. Like yeah. I don't think he's gonna give himself an opportunity to do something unsafe and die for it. Is um, Sonic the kind of character who likes rage? Ooh. Yeah. Um. His up air is really good with rage. There's like certain. Uh, oh, and that. Ooh. Yeah. And we oh, I thought that was uh, no, six WX that went down there. No, we saw an instance of. Uh, oh. I believe that was BSBS, which is a glitch that Sonic has with a spin dash, where it's there's if he spin dashes in the air and then doesn't jump when he lands back on the ground, he actually loses his second jump, unless he like unless he doesn't attack on the ground. So when he spin dashes, he was stuck in the animation. So. <sighs> yeah. So that's just it's it's unfortunate, but. You know, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully with, like, uh, you know, less SD than last time. But I'm going to get into it here. All right. Um, Battlefield. I don't, I don't think the stage is terrible for Sonic. Like, personally, I think static platforms don't are, like, not his favorite stages. But uh, just because I think Sonic likes a lot of space to, to work with, and I feel like this, uh, the platforms can kind of mess him up sometimes. But at the same time, what Sonic gets is he gets better grab follow-ups on platforms. So something like uh, up throw, spring up air, yeah, yeah. it'll have more uh, more consistent kill window because of it. Okay. That could have been really interesting because uh, that's, that was an instance of the platform messing up Sonic because um, Six was able to get the spike hitbox of the down air, but he wasn't able to get the auto cancel window because he, uh, he hit the platform earlier. Ah. Uh. Cause he's able to, he would be able to get like a reset out of that, most likely. All right. Do we on the empty hop? And this could be death. The slow fall. <laughs> yep, and that'll do it. Is that a frame trap, or uh, whatever? Uh, no, I think he just picked a bad instance of air dodge. That could have been very interesting. So good stuff there from six, but I think Cyber like that's the beauty of the Ditto, like um. The same options that Six is able to kill Cyberman with, Cyber is able to hit him right back with him. Right. So it doesn't matter if, he's, if Six is going to give him the position to do that. I'm going to just kind of a lot of skating around right now. Six is in the, in the driver's seat, so mm. he's going to be able to whiff punish a lot more freely because Cyber is going to be forced to approach. There he goes. He's, he's getting the follow-ups he needs, but he's just not getting him in a position where he's going to be able to capitalize much off of it. Yeah, it's just <laughs> Six is just kind of like running circles around him. That backer is oh. going to do a good job of racking up damage, but... Not enough. Yeah, that's Battlefield rearing its ugly head because the, the blast zones are slightly bigger. Mm. So, on any other stage, that probably would have been enough to kill. Yeah. Him. Yep, 
Again, just got a lot of skirting Ooh. around right now. Cyber's just throwing out forward smashes where he can. Yeah, I mean, if he spaces it properly on shield, it's safe. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> uh.